The ThinkPad line of laptops over the years have been synonymous with enterprise class computing, corporate computing, and very widely popular among business class users for their legendary performance, the impeccable build quality, craftsmanship, um, a lot of things make up why ThinkPad line of laptops have been so popular over the years. Me personally, I can think days back to when I was using T40, T41, 60, 61, on and on it. So IBM has sold ThinkPad PC business to Lenovo many years ago, and since then, a lot of different models have, um, have been introduced to us. The T series still exists today. L series, E series, and X series. So X series make up of X1 Carbon, X1 Yoga, and today X260, which replaced X240 that we're looking at today. X240 is still available as new um, new units, and some great deals could be found. Um, <clears throat> so with that said, X240 in a nutshell, what it will give you is just uncompromised performance. Meanwhile, still giving you the ultra portable, ultra lightweight, very friendly to the shoulder. Um, as we look later, the dimensions of this laptop just meant for road warriors and just every day, home to office, office to client, client to airport, that you can just toss around and take around with you all day long. So basically, um, I'm, I really love its size and abundant battery life, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. Um, so let's take a look at the dimension. Um, if you compare to 260 that I am holding, and we'll take a look at X2, T460, X240. So you can see um, tremendous size difference compared to their mainstream T-series laptop. Here is a MacBook Pro late 2016. Here is the X240, very similar. Actually, the length and the depth are dead on. It's the uh, width, how thick it is, that's a slightly uh, thicker on this particular unit. So it's a 12 inches this way, 8.2 inches that way, and 0.8 right, um, as far as the height is concerned. The way it's configured today as is, it weighs in at three and a half pounds. The lid um, is carbon fiber reinforced with the uh, magnesium chassis that uh, gives you extremely solid, solid build. When you hold it, you can definitely feel some substance even though it is lightweight computer. The hinge design um, is extremely good and allows the, um, the lid to fold out 180 degrees as so. Um, and with this particular build coming with the add-on 6-cell battery. So let's do talk about the battery before I go on uh, further down with everything else in this review video. So unlike other common laptops, the X240 comes with what they call power bridge, meaning you can actually disengage this, this uh, battery and the unit will still stay on because the unit has a built-in three cell battery. So without having to shut the computer down, you can easily swap out batteries while the laptop is still running even when you're not tethered to power adapter. So with that, um, you could easily last nine hours plus um, with the built-in uh, battery as well as the 6L out here. Meaning you can just leave your power charging adapter at home office or your actual office and it'll, you can last all day using this laptop without having to plug in once. Um, so with that said, um, if you ask me personally, what I would carry around if I were to use a PC Windows-based laptop, X-Series 240, 260 is probably what I would take around as my daily driver. If I weren't using um, MacBook Pro in, uh, because of the Apple ecosystem that I'm so deeply integrated with. So with that said, um, we'll talk a little bit about the um, different components what make up this laptop. The touchpad, the entire touch trackpad 
travels down when you press. However, the, um, the feedback is very satisfying and it gives you extremely snappy feedback. Um, the overall dimension of the trackpad is generous and it performs very well and it tracks incredibly smooth and well. Um, so let's move on to the screen. X240-260 comes with a 12 and a half inch screen diagonally. Um, this unit uh, comes with a 1366 by 768 of resolution. The screen is bright enough. Um, it'll serve its purpose. I've seen better screens. It is not the best feature of this particular laptop. It is serviceable. Uh, so moving on from the screen to the audio, um, the speakers are bottom firing. Uh, luckily this laptop, if you look right here, because of that 6L battery, there is a little bit of room from the table surface to the bottom of the laptop. So when the audio waves are fired downward, it does have room to escape, but it's bouncing off of the table. Um, it's, it sounds tiny. Let's not kid ourselves. So. Um, just like other, you know, historical ThinkPads and everything else, unless you go to like X1 Yoga. So basically, it's all tuxedo, it's all business, so there is no party. Maybe that's kind of uh, what, what, what I am connecting the poor audio quality with. You have a nice pair of headphones, plug it into the audio jack, go to town. But the built-in speakers, nothing to write home about. Um, as far as the keyboard is concerned, chiclet style, island style keyboard works extremely well. The, the ThinkPad keyboard that we've all come to love over the years, obviously present right here. Over the years, the design have changed a little bit, but the um, typing on this keyboard, extremely satisfying. And you can literally type all day paragraphs and chapters and lengthy emails whatnot works just well um, and battery life as i talked about earlier excellent um, so you know all, all all day computing battery power it just means so much to mobile warriors of um today so that's um, just outstanding the lid itself does not have any sort of a um indent or anything that you could pop the li uh, lid open with so you just have to get your hands in between the base and the lid and just prop it open. Um, so let's take a look at the ports real quick. On this side, you would have the audio, USB 3.0, SD card, ethernet jack, Kensington lock. On the rear side, there is no ports available. And on the uh, left-hand side, you have your power adapter port, vent, VGA port, and another USB 3.0 and mini display port available on board. I'm really glad of the inclusion of the legacy port like the VGA and new, you know, new age port such as a display port. It is lacking USB uh, type C port. Um, you know, in, in my personal opinion, the modern day laptop should come with that. Um, although Apple took that a little bit too far giving you absolutely no ports other than USB uh, type C, but we're not talking about the MacBook today, we're talking about the Lenovo ThinkPad 240. So, um, even though the screen, and just to recap, even though the screen is a somewhat subpar, but it is bright enough, it doesn't, and it works well enough not to be a, a negative on this, part, uh, uh, the review of this particular laptop. Uh, pad, look past that, whether that's build quality, the performance wise, everything else, absolutely nothing to complain about this laptop and it's very portable it does not take a whole lot of space in your laptop bag you can carry it around all day without having to carry on another power brick so um, the performance the battery life everything else makes this laptop a clear winner so with that said i'll wrap up this review video until next time you guys all take care